Okay, so here I am um, in adventure mode. This is uh, traveling with my little group of, of adventurers out to... Okay, so first off, I just have to point out, I like the fact that the old text is still there. <laughs> I love partially finished UI. Like the hill, the hill of jails down here, of the continent of hands, that, that is very much still just the old text in the same place. A well, different place, bandit right? camp that's out in these hills here off the road. So I'm on this road now, and here we go, traveling south, and right near this little bandit camp here. And let us stop traveling. Okay, here are my adventurers. We have my brave, brave group here. Uh, I'm a dwarf swordswoman here. I have a master, masterwork copper, a <laughs> copper longsword. Um, and I also have Ed B here, who is um, my my buddy with their with their two-handed sword and buckler, and a uh, <laughs> Vabok the wombat person here who has a spear. Um, so if we want, we can look at, for instance, uh, Vabok's inventory here. This isn't blind, mate. I got news for you. Sorry. No, I have not started balding. Yet, hopefully. Um, well, let's just skim through this a little bit. Oh, actually, let, we'll, we'll let the whole thing play and then I'll skim through it. We'll do it that way. Oops, not that button. That's the button I wanted. A uh, <laughs> Vabok, the wombat person here who has a spear. Um, so if we want, we can look at, for instance, uh, Vabok's inventory here, the spear and the little trousers and they have a uh, water skin with some water in it. Uh, they've got some hungry head brains prepared. I really like the different their, icons the down there. Like the um, obviously the you so know the, the two goblins hugging. My main character Takri here. Although these are all uh, characters that we made in character generation, so it's a party I can control everybody. And let's head south. So this is a uh, a history lesson from Vabok. Um, Note the ambient sounds. A, a dispute, so they're just sitting there chatting with me. Uh oh, you blocked the flying copper arrow with your shield. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in trouble already. I've got a, uh, I've got um, Vabok screamed. I have a part in this. This might require an answer. And they got the goblins screaming. I must press on. Okay, because they're a little intimidated because they see these three people coming toward them. Uh, and can I see them? Yes, here we have a... Looks like a the, goblin uh, bandit camp, I guess. Axe, an axe goblin down there. It should so be going out in your in emails soon. Bravely. Good, Charles. Okay, the bowman is already running away. Let's see what we can do. They're obviously so hugging, though, Kid Fox. For us to identify ourselves. I'll, I'll go ahead and reply to that. Uh, so I've got this dwarf... Hold on, I want to pause on the conversation here. screen. That... Okay, all right, my camera's in the way. Up here. That that's interesting, the way that it's laid. This is laid out because it's it's still largely so like the do. same UI. That's like so one of my favorite things about like identify ourselves. I'll, I'll go ahead and reply to that. Because yeah, okay. So it's you know continue with conversation. Continue convers. So he because he, he's got two conversations going. He's got the wombat person and he's got the goblin now. And then you can show it to anybody and assume identity. It's like this is still the exact same conversation system largely. Everyone who gets the email list gets the video unlisted before it's public. Yeah, yeah, because um, it's currently it's currently unlisted, um, and I'm first. I'll have you know. <laughs> I cheated, but um, yeah, no, this because that that was one of the big questions I had is like if um, like the conversation system is going to get a lot of work done or if it's going to be largely identical. And I'm assuming we'll see combat in a minute, so let's, let's keep uh, at it. So I've got this dwarf. I'm not dwarf. I've got got the goblin here. Um, uneasy right now because I'm sitting here. Um, I mean, they did fire a little warning shot there. I guess that one that one didn't care too much about this identification procedure. But I'm just going to refuse to comply with the demand. Over my dead body. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can do. They're all screaming. Okay, let's finally let's finally get into the action here little dot okay. lines for progress so, this... so instead of having like the big blinking icons showing directions they it's just a tiny little dot which is useful and the direction that they're coming from and all that that stuff's nice person um someone sh someone might be hard for new players to like 
wrap their brains around initially, but eh. I shot at my human friend and they blocked it. Okay, so someone attacked and I jumped away. So now here what I can, what I can do is uh, click the attack button and we see that this um, this goblin axeman is attacking me with an iron great axe. I've got all kinds of uh, options. So this is like cramming. Hold on. Yeah, th this is still largely the same screen as well. Um, except the way it would look before is it would just be like a full black screen with like this text up in the top left and then the options kind of down here. Um, or actually, it, well, it was, it was like a half screen black screen, not like a full screen black screen, but it would have either on the top or the bottom, depending on like where you had your resolution at. And then this information as to what they were doing, either like attacking you, no, no quarter or like talking at you or whatever would go at the top of that. And then you'd have the options beneath it. Uh, with my character here, I can parry, Which means they very much dodge, stuck with the list strike, for the wrestle. combat start at the very least, which is nice. Because I actually, I, I really like that UI. It's just simple and easy to understand, even though it's like not the prettiest. And uh, since, they're, since they're attacking me with a great axe and I'm good at parrying, let's go ahead and parry um, with my long sword. Okay, so strikes, definitely parried. Um, and now it's time for me to... Um, me to reply. I can open up the context menu as well by right clicking. Now they're recovering from this attack because I parried them well, and now it's time for me to strike. So I've got op wow. And again, yeah, this is this is still the same UI except we we have like pictures of limbs over on the left. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, I I remember like Tarn was talking about not wanting to do like paper doll, um, examples basically like. Uh, d didn't didn't want to just have like an outline of a character because some of the characters are procedurally generated and it's unpredictable by about how many limbs that they're going to have. And I know that um yeah, this is a video. This is this is not a live stream. This is a video that you are going to get in your inbox. Sorry if this is uh you know, not obvious. This is going to go up on the Kip Fox YouTube channel um soon. It's currently unlisted. So, I'm going to leave it a like though. As you should too, damn it. Options here. But how it, it's it's interesting that I, the, the thing that I'm surprised by is how similar this combat UI is to the original combat UI. Hey, Tanker, we're seeing some, some brand new adventure mode footage. Brand new. Brand new. They didn't want to do VATS exactly. Well, I mean, it still is VATS. It's just not a paper... It's just not the VATS UI, basically. Right? It, well significantly more in-depth vats actually <laughs> um but yeah well I, I guess that that's the thing that i'm the most surprised by with this is how sim is the fact that this is still just the old ui but presented in a more legible format because like i think the the problem with adventure mode in version 47 isn't the gameplay it isn't the game's direction it isn't the way you play it it's the how do I explain this? It is it isn't the way you play it, it isn't the direction. The problem with adventure modes UI is explaining to the player what in the world they're supposed to be doing. Right? And giving the player direction. And I think combine that with just like making it ASCII and also giving it Z levels with no tile set in the older versions by default um, scares a lot of people away way more so than fortress mode does because fortress mode is the one that has, I think the, the, the allure, I guess. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it's not the prettiest option, I think, but like adding the icon at the end here is more than enough. In my opinion, I'm assuming these are just going to be generic because they're fighting with a goblin right now. And there's, that a hamster man? Like, what in the world is that? <laughs> what, what is that head? And then there's, like, these arms that are, like, pink and then, like, darker, like, different skin tones for every life. So I wonder if these are going to be generic icons for the limbs or if they're going to be, like, connected to the character. That's a capybara. I get, yeah, you're, you are correct. That is, in fact, a capybara, now that I'm looking at it. You are right. But they are generic icons? Okay. Why the capybara head? <laughs> like, what? Um... But yeah, if if they're just going with like generic icons for for the for the limbs, I mean that's fine, because then you can just like throw in more. You wanted to use animal people as examples for certain actions. Okay, right, all right, no issues there. Let's continue. How good your um, your strikes are, like how easy it is to hit, and how how solid do you think the strike is going to be? 
Uh, depends because on your we're watching a video coffee and candle. also a, a random element. So it looks like their lower body is open. And let's just go for the lower body then. I've got my uh, slashes, stabs. I can slap them with the flat of the blade and with the pommel. Strike with my shield. Punch, scratch, bite. I've got I've got options here. Uh, so yeah, all of this is still the same UI. Um, which also really makes me wonder um, if you if we'll be able to page up and page down with a hotkey for this screen. Because like keyboard functionality is something that's in staying in for adventure mode. So are we going to be able to scroll this scroll bar using the keyboard? Or am I just going to have to memorize the different attack possibilities? Because I won't be able to see them. Or is it like a double tap thing where I have to hit E and then confirm? You see charge as a ram person? That's <laughs> Guts, glory, ram! You know. Guts, gory, ram? Uh, that That's not funny. But yeah, ramming into something being a, a ram is funny. <laughs> I, I respect the, the, the visual pun there. So let's just try a, um, a, a quick attack. Yeah, it's a goat person for, to the for charge, yeah. Stabbing the lower body. Unless that's the ram. Okay, you stab the clear voice goblin axeman in the lower body with the long sword, tearing the muscle, got the guts, they look sick. My store, sword is stuck in them. You might recognize these from the fortress mode uh, combat logs, but now we are experiencing the combat logs, um, you know, step by step, one, one, one fight, at, one swing at a time. Uh, if you've got multiple goblins speaking, you can mouse over and uh, see. Oh, I was wondering why talking. it was blinking like that. So you you could like hover over the different goblin, like the different people that you're fighting with in the combat log, and it changes the icon. That's neat. Uh, so yeah, well, I've got a. I can go to my my sword. Let's just pull that out. Okay, struggled for possession, pulled it out. That person's bleeding on the ground, nauseous, and uh, so probably not an issue. I can choose to try and dispatch them or just go into the next fight. I'll let my buddy dispatch them and move down. Okay, so what happened here? Um, uh, no, I don't remember the 80s at all. I wasn't born in the 80s. I got. If, and if you're saying that this looks like it's, it's from the 80s, the, they didn't have this many colors on computers in the 80s. So clearly you also don't remember the 80s. Knocked on the ground. Let's see. So I'm going to have to scamper away. Now, if I just move, I'll be crawling slowly, and I don't want to do that, but... Let's see what I can do. I can dodge to the west. Ah, this guy got pushed on top of me again because my friend is uh, taking swings. Everyone's just dodging around. Um, let's try again. Dodge to the southeast. Okay, I'm finally, finally free. Lots of shots being thrown here. My human has hacked oh, someone's enemy. arteries okay. open. <laughs> hitting him in the back of the head, so that was good. I also don't watch SNL at all, so, you yeah. know. That the human came up from behind there. Now I can stand up. So I'm standing up, and they, <laughs> these goblins down here, I don't know if they've noticed me down here, they're, they're chatting about, oh, the kangaroo leather tunic really makes the outfit. Okay, ridiculous people. Uh, so I've got this spearman here, seems like the biggest threat. So let's, um, let's try something else. I, lo I love when like adversaries compliment you mid-combat. <laughs> it's like you're just stabbing somebody to death, and they're like, hey, nice shoes! <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> Okay, continue stabbing. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Else now, I'm going to uh, pull up my menu, and let's let's try and wrestle this this pikeman. Um, I can I can grab them with my weapons. Um, my my left hand is more free. My right hand's not free. It's holding a sword, but I can grab them with my shield hand. Or I like the grabbing I can, icon. Uh, grab with my it's a nice arms, addition. You know, like a chokehold or something. Um, so because like before it had the sword, like the weapon icon. So you know what you're hitting them with without having to back out of the menu, which is good. Let's let's try and uh, grab them with an arm, and then you get all these choices, right? I've got all of these different body parts. If you want to chat room? Good news. You can probably still grab somebody by the tongue and throw them. Excellent. Grab their individual digits. Uh, you can try and snatch their weapons away. Uh, there's there's quite a few options. I'm just going to go for the neck. We'll see. If Is we... there a tongue icon? I wasn't looking close enough. <laughs> I'm just going to go for the neck. We'll see. Uh, sorry, you can try and snatch you. their weapons away. Lots of uh, there's, fingers. There's I didn't see a tongue in there. Maybe he didn't scroll down far enough. God damn it. Two options. I'm just going to go for the neck. We'll see if I can get this strike. I'm not very good at wrestling, so this might not might not connect. I got him. All right. So we're wrestling now, and. 
I can pull up the uh, the wrestling menu and I've got the uh, the left lower arm grabbed that that's this it's nice that they have this okay so I was a little bit worried that they were still going to use the the old exact UI here because the the old older versions of the game the way this UI works is it's it's just text right so it's just like you're holding this with this and it 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 gets very complicated when you're biting somebody actively biting somebody so your teeth are in their shoulder let's just say you're grabbing somebody by the left arm with your right arm and you're grabbing their neck with your other arm and it's just like a stack of text and it can get kind of tricky to figure out what you're clicking on this combat system is unique oh don't worry i you can throw a turkey by the tongue it is unique you can punch somebody specifically in the left back tooth the third left back tooth on the right side um, and then their cheek explodes. You can pinch somebody's nose so hard, their nose explodes. I, I bit somebody's nose off. And then after a fight was over, after the fight was over, ate food, took a nap, woke up the next day, drank water, made breakfast, ate food, got up, fast traveled, and then realized while I was looking in my inventory, after multiple days of travel, I still had the, the nose in my mouth. In adventure mode. I didn't do that for real, for clarity's sake. In the video game. <laughs> it's a unique combat system. <laughs> so uh, I, put the, I put the nose in my backpack and kept it as a souvenir. But it's the natural thing to do. <laughs> the neck. So let's pull it up again. I can take them down. That's throw disturbing, them. enemy. Uh, doesn't look like I can establish a choke here. So let's just throw them on the ground. Uh... What all happened? Here? Also, you see those little combat okay. animations? The little whap, whap, whap. I only just noticed those. What all happened here? That's really nice. I really hope we get those in Fortress mode. I would really, really, really like to see those in Fortress mode at some point as well. Because those, those they're, they're just real nice looking. I'm actually like, like, let, let, let's see if we can get another instant replay on that. Back to here. Uh, I've defeated many fearsome opponents. What all happened? Slap, slap, slap. Okay. He's using, it's, you know, sometimes you just, you got to chew on some cartilage, you know? You got to chew on some cartilage. Okay, so my, my human friend is stabbing them. Uh, got the, uh, so while I've got this uh, goblin pikeman, you know, grabbed around the neck with my arm, that meant that they can't dodge. When you're in wrestling, you can no longer jump away easily. And so my human just ran up. My yeah, human friend Ebdi uh, just ran up and stabbed him through uh, with a, with a two handed sword through the guts. Uh, they're also not happy now. Uh, so that is uh, that looks like that for for these two. So these two foes are in a lot of trouble. But I've got <laughs> I've got three archers coming up. I've got uh, spearmen. You can look up through to the trees and so forth. Uh, recenter. Um, so I'm going to make my way down, uh, ignoring this contest, uh, and that should just de-wrestle de, uh, de here. Uh, you release the grip of your left lower arm uh, from the pikemen. So I, my friends are here fighting. Um, now where is my wombat buddy is a question. Let me go look for them. So this, this, this button right here, which is one of the new buttons I haven't seen before, shows your party members. I'm not entirely certain what I get is this this is probably swap party members, I would guess. Okay, they're they're uh, lagging behind here. Uh one Batman's running away in fear, I think. Where did they run off to? Okay, they're being ridiculous. <laughs> but I can just assume control of this human if I So that that yeah, that's just uh you, you click this button and click assume control, I guess. Want. Uh Done. so now I'm controlling the human. They were already in the middle of an attack, so it completed their attack first. Uh, now it's talking about it in the in the first person as if I'm this human because I am, uh, and you can see my portraits also change. If you want, you can go into tactical mode. Oh, that's tactics. Uh, okay, and got control it. everybody. I don't want to control the wombat person. So, so tactics um, is something that I, I I never messed around with much in the older version of the game because I found the UI to be wonky for it. Um, but tactics is let kind of lets you play the game a bit more like I don't know like a bald, like Baldur's Gate kind of deal where it's a bit more of a how do I word this? Kind of more of a just a turn-based strategy game, less of a less of a like your allies are controlled on their own volition, and you 
you're playing specifically. It's like high stress moments instead of low stress moments. It's more of a turn-based party mode instead of a, like you can set everybody's moves basically and tell everybody where to go instead of just the thing. Uh, no, it was added in, whatever the patch was where they let you pet things, whatever that version was, when, when they added petting. Is that funny that that's like the thing that like stands out to me from that patch? I, I think it was version 47. Like, it, was, it was like the move from 44 to 47, I think. Um, I could actually go to look to Can You Pet the Dog's Twitter account, but I, I can't search through it anymore uh, because Twitter sucks now. Uh, but uh, yeah, when they added the ability to pet everything, they added the party mode or like the tactical mode. But I mean, obviously like... It looks like Dwarf Fortress, right? And that comes with its positives and negatives. And the positives of this for me are it looks like this is, in fact, going to be entirely keyboard compatible. Like, I'm seeing lowercase a's and uppercase a's and stuff in the UI, which makes me very happy. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I also think that this is going to be a little bit steep learning curve for some people. But, like, I just hope that you... For, to those of you who've never played adventure mode before, you can look at this and see kind of the similarities to even things like Kenshi that I talk about sometimes, because uh, this is certainly a lot easier to just, I think, fiddle your way into figuring out than older versions. It was a tactical petting patch. Fun fact, you can pet your enemies mid-combat. <laughs> you can also spit on them. I've absolutely been, like, strangling somebody to death in, in adventure mode and then pat gave them a pat on the head and spat in their face and then watched their eyes bulge out. Um, let's, uh, let's continue the video. Just run off so I can turn them off. I can just put them on AI. They'll, they'll join the fight unless they chickened out. And so now I can put it on uh, tactical mode and I can control uh, the, the human and the dwarf that I have in my party. Uh, so this pikeman's recovering. They're pretty sick and so forth. I've got a square strike to the head. So I'm just going to try a precision uh, slash and see what I get. Uh, slash them in the head, fractured the skull. They dropped their pike um, because the uh, when I hit them in the head with the two-handed sword, it's heavy enough that their neck twisted and they got spine injuries. So they can't even hold a weapon anymore. Uh, that person's out of commission. And I can move down. Now when I move down, because I'm in tactical mode, it's the while that human is moving, my dwarf now uh, can make a move, um, and uh, arrow flies by, and I'm running down, and now I've got my human moving again. Uh, so you take a couple moves. I'm just going to switch that off. Uh, but you, if you want precise control, uh, you've got it. So now let me see if I can charge these archers. Uh, seems dubious at best, but um, they're all fighting up there. Oh, there goes an arrow. You see it flying by. Uh, I'm still in a martial trance, which uh, makes it easier for me to dodge these things, dodging a couple arrows uh, as they come through. But you can see there's overwhelming. I was going to say, I have a weird uh, feeling this party is about to horribly there. die. But <laughs> So I think uh, I'm going to leave the rest to your imagination. This has um, been a nice little, nice little adventure video. <laughs>
like really hope that the search functionality of the conversation UI is better than it is in classic because I will literally type in the thing I want to ask them word for word and it gives me the wrong thing sometimes. Like it's, it is possibly the worst part of the conversations is the like actually using the search filtering because the search filtering in classic was pretty bad. Um, they finish talking, they begin fighting, combat. This UI is, in, I'm gonna see if I can get a video out by like Saturday or something that talks about this UI versus the old one because this is largely identical. Like, except it was just split apart differently and more full screen, right? Like this was, this this screen here, like the 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 different types of attacks was just kind of at the bottom and it was like a toggle select with hotkeys. This was just kind of a bigger thing at the top and you'd hit like, I think it was slash and star on the numpad to like cycle through the different menus. Um, This is very similar, except it used to pop up at the bottom and you just have names instead of faces, which... It's cool. Wrestling UI, also very similar to the old stuff. Um, this, where is this? Uh, the con, like, the, the, I'm looking for the one where he had the, the, the two goblin faces at the bottom and he selects between them. It was right before he started wrestling. Let me double check. Uh, also, we, we do see that context menu briefly that he mentions because he right clicks on something and we get that context menu. It's just because he skips through it really quick. Let's try something else now. I'm going to uh, pull up my menu. Yeah, right, right there. And let's, what what let's does it say there? I want to like pause on that. Threat. So let's um, let's try something else now. I'm going to uh, pull up my menu. What would you like to do? Start new. So this is a contact sensitive menu that they've talked about because he right clicks. What would you like to do? Combat. So that's interesting. Like so, the the contact sensitive menu that they've talked about where you right click and it gives you all of the options of the things you can do in that tile at that time. So it's like start a fire. So this would be like, I think the X button basically, except it now also has the continue the combat stuff. Instead of, con I think shift C. I don't know, I, have a bad, I, have, I do a bad job re remembering hotkeys <laughs> when I'm not playing, but um, this is essentially like, at least this particular context sensitive menu, because I'm thinking, I think this is the only time that this pops up. What, what is it? Yeah, nor Northwest would be NW. Yeah. Um, so it would be ign make a campfire, ignite the grass, not super useful in combat. Um, attack the tall goblin pikeman, combat with the tall goblin pikeman, and uh, move to dense grass, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I think we should end this off by listening to some to the music. Ha, 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 ha.